between the two. Voluntary nervous system. You were doing this very, very quickly. Autonomic, you know, they weren't even digest in order to go about running this. All right, good morning, guys. And I'm in my first class, which is physiology. Right now, he's talking about neural stimuli and how that affects certain parts of your body that we're not going to talk about. But once this ends at around 10.20, I'm gonna to go to my physics class. So I'll finish up the lecture here from physiology and then we'll be good to go. Finally, you can't take it anymore where you turn off the parasympathetic, you turn on the sympathetic and you ejaculate. So I use a scooter to travel. It's super, super convenient because it's fast and there are no issues when I'm traveling. And today was actually a rainy day, which is usually surprising because usually it's really sunny out here. And like seeing the rain on the ground was like a reminder of, you know, back home from, from Michigan. And so, yeah, I traveled to um, physics, my first class, it's super beautiful outside still, even though it's raining and I'm ready for class. <laughs> okay, we left physics because we're going to chem. Cause... I love chemistry. Metmet is the best. Put this in the chat. But we have to leave early because chem starts in the middle of physics, but that's okay. Because we love physics, right? You like yeah, physics? Yeah, I have so much fun. Yeah. And aspartate is about 3.9. So it's nearby that value, okay? So After chem, I go to my next class, which is biosecurity and pandemic resilience. I'm actually a teaching assistant for the class, so I help run the class and host our guest speakers, which is super fun. So I just finished TAing for a class, biosecurity and pandemic resilience. Really fun class, and we had a Favorite great, amazing class. speaker. Okay, I just left the class I'm TAing for. I spoke with the speaker for an extra half hour after the class ended because he's so inspirational. The speaker is literally starting his own medical school. That is insane. Like Stanford has so many resources and like being able to meet him and form that connection was amazing. And so I left early. It's like past 3 p.m. and I still haven't eaten lunch. So I have to go do that now and eat uh, and then I'll keep studying. came out of the dining hall. They wouldn't let me film in there, unfortunately, but I promise I'll get dinner for you and I'll show you the options. I think now I'm gonna go study uh, and go to the library. But first, a quick dorm tour. So this is my dorm uh, at Stanford. It's super beautiful. This is the lounge. There are a lot of games and there's a big TV, so it's super fun. This is the courtyard. Um, people hang out here all the time, especially when it's sunny and warm, which is most of the time. And this is the dining hall that actually directly connects to my dorm. It's not the one that I ate at, but as you can see from the door on the right, that leads directly to the dorms. And then this is the hallway and the hallways all look like this. Um, it's decently wide enough and the rooms are there. And now it's time to go to the library. Now there's a lot of construction on campus. I did not even notice that this building had gotten this big since last time I walked by. Like there's always stuff being built and they're trying to make the school better. And so this is just one of many places where there's construction. They're building a new like data science building as well. And so there's a lot going on. Even over there, there's some stuff on the way to the library, which is this building here. And this is Green Library. It's one of the most popular libraries for undergraduates to study. This is the main floor. It's super beautiful and super luxurious. There's a lot of space to study and there's a lot of lighting as well. Um, as you can see, there's students sitting around and a lot of the time I actually study here um, just because I like it. It's peaceful and it's really, really quiet. Um, and there's also conference rooms available for meetings. And there's actually a lot of artifacts and things that are stored here. I haven't actually looked at most of them in detail, but they look cool. And then uh, once you go up to the second and third floor, it's much quieter. There's a lot of books and there's like individual study spaces with like chairs and like 
kind of like cubicles that you can work at and I'm going to go there. Um, but there's so many different books and so many things to do. And so green is my number one spot. I took a break midway through because um, I was actually appearing on the news on behalf of my nonprofit. So I watched my segment air live on TV before continuing to study a little bit more. And then I was leaving the library after about two hours. All right, guys, I left the library after like two hours of studying. That was a intense study session. Now I'm going to go to the gym to kind of exercise you know get my heart rate up so i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna get dinner i usually eat pretty late and around here the dining halls close at around 9 p.m ish the latest one some of them close at eight yes i'm from a middle eastern slash asian household trust me i know we eat late but we have to get used to 9 p.m <laughs> here but there's other late night options that go till 2 a.m but that costs extra money So I ate and I ate good and I love my dinner. Afterwards, I actually drove back to my dorm and that took about like five minutes to drive back on my scooter. Super beautiful as always. And on the way back actually, um, there's like protests going on for Israel and Palestine that have been up for record time, like for months. And so drive by that. So once I got back to my room, I had a quick Zoom meeting to take. I had to log on for that. So during my meeting, I heard some noise and apparently the band is doing a performance or something. Like this happens sometimes, they're not out every single night doing stuff like this, but um, it happens occasionally. And usually I don't even go check, but I'm, I mean, they're doing good, I love it. I don't have time to go walk all the way there, but because I gotta go back to my meeting, but um, they're doing a good job. So keep it up, Stanford band. guys it's past 2 a.m uh, i took my shower and uh, i'm here in the lounge studying a little bit more until um, i finish up another internship application and finish getting a quiz ready that i'm in a class that i'm TAing for so my advice you know for this day in the life is time management is really critical like no matter where you are in life every minute is an investment and put that minute where it matters put your time where it matters never do something with your time that you would regret later on that's what I do every single day. That's my uh, motivation. That's my motto and how I do things. And you know, I've been up for a while now and I've been working constantly. I do fun things, yeah, but it's a Wednesday. It's not a weekend day. And so I'm working and, I, and eventually, you know, my investments are gonna pay off and I hope for you guys as well. That's it. After this, I'm brushing my teeth and going to bed. Thank you guys for sticking in for a Stanford day in life. I hope you guys learned some stuff. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. See you later.